finishing up my Bostig engine conversion and I wanted to get the um, cruise control working again. This is a 91 Westie, so it had all the bells and whistles. One of the things was cruise. Uh, you have to take the cruise control actuator unit or the cruise control pump actually off of the firewall here uh, and then mount this power steering reservoir kind of in a little different location. So uh, what I did when I went to go put it back, the, actually the two holes were still here. One of them was just a little bit like over on this, kind of see it right there, um, over on this bracket for the power steering reservoir. So I just kind of like overlapped it a little bit, put them back, tighten that back down, fish the wiring for the plug up here, got that hooked back up. Uh, ran the hose, you know, around the edge of the uh, engine area so it would be kind of hidden. I left a little bit extra here. I ran a new piece of hose from this T over to this actuator. Uh, the actuator that we're using is from a 93 Subaru Legacy. You can actually see it's wrote on there. 93 Legacy. And then that goes over to do, 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 the Bostig or the Ford Focus throttle body. The only thing I'm not 100% sure about here is what I did. I had to, had a barrel thing on the end. I had to cut that off. And thankfully, I saved this little black plastic clip for this side. I used some washers and stuff to kind of space it. I wanted it to be the same length as this. Uh, the only problem having at the moment is uh, you know when I pull vacuum on it it only comes up to it's like about there I guess is uh, which is not full throttle I don't know if that's really gonna be an issue or not usually when you use your cruise you're you know driving up you're already at like 60 or whatever you're probably not at full throttle you're at you know somewhere in the middle Eh, it'll probably be okay. And you can see as it's doing it, the other um, cable is bending a little bit. I don't think that's really going to be an issue either. That should be fine. Uh, I mean, this is how it was originally set up. This bracket was made for the focus with the cruise control. And then on this end, I just put one of these barrel grabber pieces that were actually from, from an air-cooled bus that like grabs the um, the heater cable, heater control cable. So, I mean, you can pick them up. I think the part number's from a bug or something uh, pretty easily. And you just want to leave a little slack in here so that, you know, you don't want to hang up the throttle when it's coming back. It needs to come all the way back to idle position. So, you know, leave like maybe a quarter inch of play in there. Uh, so that's not going to cause an issue. And you can see, too, the cool part is this clip has like a hole in it that was already drilled. It allows this this line you know when you're using your throttle um, it just slides back and forth so it's a pretty cool setup um, and the whole thing took me I don't know an hour I just uh, screwed this to the firewall right here a couple speed screws see how that holds up um, <clears throat> but so, you know seems like it's pretty straightforward setup here and I've actually used some just mouth vacuum on this hose it's definitely pulling it in and all that stuff so I'll, I'll give you another report once we get the uh, the engine up and running and see what's happening but I think the cruise control is leaving the rest of the system stock it should work so we'll see what happens